Welcome to this video, where I'll guide you step by step through my development process of a table mount for a Supercop Espresso machine. A good friend asked me to develop for him so that he could more easily take the machine with him on vacation and leave the heavy wooden base at home. First, I removed the espresso machine's base and made a 3D printed version out of PETG for my own mount. For this I used the existing plate and screws, although new, shorter ones would probably be the better choice in the long run. The first prototype held up very well, but it bent too much for my liking. I was afraid the mount would break at any moment. Plus, the machine was still too wobbly, even with the screw fully tightened. So I got some 4mm thick and 25mm wide flat steel as a core for the clamp, which I then had to bend into shape. Here I use my simple screw clamp and a bending jig made out of solid printed PLA. The next version definitely needs to have magnets or something similar to hold the printed device in position. To my surprise, my makeshift bending device didn't need that much force to bend the 4mm thick steel. However, the closely spaced bend points in my design gave me a bit of a headache, but in the end it somehow worked out. During the bending process I always bend the metal bar slightly further than its final shape. This is because under tension in the screw clamp the metal is always somewhat elastically deformed and springs back to its original shape after being released. In summary, for a permanent plastic deformation the metal must be bent slightly further than its actual shape. When comparing it to the printed sample I managed to get a pretty good prototype on the first attempt. When I inspected the printed parts, the female part, as I call it, still looked very good. The stamp, however, was showing the first signs of wear. After the steel core was bent into shape, I sorted off from the rest of the flat steel. To make it easier to insert the clamp into the 3D print later, I also chamfered all edges on the belt sander. To help align the holes, I quickly derived a negative part from the design. I then cleaned up the holes a bit so that the screws wouldn't get caught on the sharp edges later. At that moment I realized I completely screwed it up. I originally intended to cut an M8 thread into the steel core. In my mind, however, I still had the original design with an 8mm through hole and an inserted nut. I will also probably allow for slightly larger tolerances in my next project to make it easier to place the curved part into the print. This project was a great opportunity to test out my new H2D printer. I made the part from regular PETG with 6 mm and nearly solid infill. Finally, after I have all the parts together, the big assembly of the first prototype with steel insert begins. The screws fit very well and even though the rear screw is a bit difficult to reach, I am satisfied. This time I glued on a foam pad to protect the table from scratches. The new design clamp fits very well and makes a very solid first impression on me. The connection is actually so good that the entire tabletop lifts slightly during testing. Although the clamp was really well tightened, I tested the tension a little further to check the stability of the construction. At this point the espresso machine has a very trustworthy connection to the tabletop. So I immediately started with the first espresso after completing the new table mount. If you're not familiar with it yet, the Supercop is a simple yet highly reliable lever-operated espresso machine that operates entirely without electricity. 
This makes it ideal for both stationary and on-the-go use. Thank you for watching and I hope you learned something from my project. You can find all the files for download in the description and I thank you very much for your attention. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future projects from me.